Hello guys, welcome to Human Resource Machine Year 20 Multiplication Workshop. You'll notice I've already completed this one because I wasn't sure if my solution would work or not. This one was a little bit of a challenge. Kind of glad I moved to just doing one a day now because these are taking a very long time. Right, for each two things in the inbox multiply them and outbox the result. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. You've got labels, they can help you remember the purpose of each tile on the floor. Just tap any tile on the floor to edit. Right, first thing I'm going to do is delete these because I don't want to see that. I'd prefer to see the numbers on the floor. Right, clear that. Once again, I've pre-written the code. And I'm going to step you through it because otherwise I would never remember how to write that. So, first thing we're going to do is go and grab this zero that's on the floor and copy it into the first slot on the floor. Then we're going to go back to the inbox and we're going to take the first number that we need and copy it to the first slot on the floor. Go back to the inbox, pick up the second number, copy it to the floor. So the two numbers that are actually multiplying are the number in box 1 and the number in box 2. Now, the next step is we're going to minus 1 from this. Is it a negative number? No, it's not. So we're going to copy from here. We're then going to add that one, copy it back to the first slot, jump up, minus that one. Copy it from here again, add one, copy it back to there, skip up to the top, again minus that, jump if negative, copy from zero, outbox. I know it's a very long winded way of doing it but it seems to work. And then of course this jump will take us all the way back up to the top and we'll check the whole process again. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. I know it's not the best solution and I'm sure it's not the most clear description or explanation but it's honestly the best I can do. This is just one of those where it's more about the maths and trying to figure out how to get it to work with the limited commands at your disposal. What I tend to do when I've got one of these is I look at the first numbers and see what I've actually got to do to get to the result and I then work down one at a time looking at if it's negative, if it's positive, etc. So yeah, that's that one. Sorry about the explanation on that one, guys, but I really, really struggled. It's kind of a miracle that I got that work in. I'm not joking, it was about 35 different attempts there, and it must have taken me four hours. So good luck. Please, when you find a better solution, let me know, because I'm sure this is just a very rough, nasty, get-it-done one. Thanks, guys, and I shall see you later.